Hello Stampers! Welcome to Sunday Night Facebook Live. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com, coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Oh, I hope I'm on my right channel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I am. Okay, I see people popping in. I'm like, oh my lord, what did I just do? <laughs> uh, not a good way to start off the night, right? I am going to pull you guys up on... Hang on. I gotta get my volume turned down. Uh, there we go. <laughs> okay, how's everybody doing? I see Debbie coming in and Barb and Janice. Welcome. Lee is here. Oh, hi, Connie. Yay. So I had um, a really good weekend. So it started off, I kind of started my weekend early. Last Thursday, was it Thursday, Friday? Yeah, Thursday. Yes, my mom's birthday. So we went over to her house. It's a couple hours away from here. And um, we went up early and got there probably early afternoon, I would say. And we were able to take her out to dinner and then we came back home and my niece had baked a cake and made frosting, made it. <laughs> and we had cake and she opened presents and oh, it was just so nice. We had a wonderful time. And what else happened? Um, It was nice to spend a few days with her. I had to go get some work done on my phone. So yeah, where is that thing? So I can show it to you guys because guess what? I'm not using it anymore, but do you see? Oh, look at, that's my screensaver. Isn't it the cutest thing ever? <laughs> but anyways, so um, you guys know my phone has been overheating. Well, my button got broken and Steve broke it. Yeah, he did it and he was very regretful. But there was an eagle sitting out in the field at my mom's house, and I was trying to take a picture of it at the patio door. So I had my phone smashed up against the patio door so it wouldn't jiggle because I had it um, um, zoomed in, right? And I'm holding it up against the window, and I'm on the door part that doesn't open. Steve comes walking up to the patio and opens it up, and when he does, the door goes over my phone. My hand gets pushed away. My phone falls in between the doors. It was just a whole calamity. And I was like, oh! <laughs> and so he had to dig it out with different tools, like a knife and, I don't know, something else. Anyways, when he finally got it out, it has no button on the bottom. And this is an older iPhone. And if you don't have a button, you're kind of SOL, if you know what I'm saying. So my mom and I took a trip to Marshfield, which is about 20 miles away. And we went to the cell phone store and they gave me a button on my screen. They like programmed a button so I could touch it on my screen. And you love my screensaver. She is the cutest little thing. I wish I could get that thing to go away. Let's see. I don't know how to do that. But anyways, uh, let's see if I can make it come up again without all the things on the... It's still got power. Um, no, it's, it's not going to work. But anyways, yeah, Val is adorable. So anyhow, um, they gave me a button that I can touch on my screen so that I could get into my phone and oh, what a circus. And on the old iPhones, you can't do anything. That's their, that's your magic button. Like that controls everything. So, um, when I got home yesterday or whenever it was yesterday, I ran over to the cell phone store, right? Diana says the button does it all. I know. <laughs> so you got to kind of have to have the button. I went to the cell phone store and they they sold me a new cell phone. Imagine that. How sweet are they? <laughs> that was a cool $1,300. Bam. Oh, my Lord. Phones are ridiculous. And I have to have one with a lot of memory for shooting my videos. Because if you don't have good memory space, you're in the middle of shooting a video and it will just like quit because you ran out of memory space. That was the problem I had when I got this thing. So anyways, I got a new phone. I got a iPhone Max Pro, iPhone 12 Max Pro is what it's called. And it should work great. But still, it's like, you know, this was fine if I just had a button. If only I had a button. Isn't that like from the Wizard of Oz, if only I had a brain? <laughs> 
anyway, so I did that. But when we went to Marshfield, then my mom was talking about this new, well, it's not really new, but she was telling me there's this little ice cream shop on the other end of town by Dairy Queen. And I said, well, let's go there. And we went to the little ice cream shop. We found out that it's not new. It's been there for nine years. <laughs> so I don't know where we've been, but we never drive that way. And we had some ice cream and it was so delicious, like raveable delicious. It was so, so, so good. And um, so I think my mom just couldn't stop talking about it. She was telling everybody about the wonderful ice cream we had. So I think I'm going to get her a gift card and send it to her just for no reason. That just makes me happy when I can do stuff like that. Oh, anyway, so then um, what happened? Steve brought his boat home. So he's pretty excited about that. He's got to get something for the something and then put the rod holders in. And in the meantime, I have a John update. So because Steve brought his boat home and then John must have come home, I wasn't there for the whole thing that went down. But Steve told them that, told me that he showed John his boat. I'm like, I'll bet you did. <laughs> like John was probably like, no. You know, boys are like stuff like that. So anyway, Steve showed him all about his new boat and, um, um, John told him that I think he retires next week and Steve's annoyed because his work van truck is still here and it's blocking our view out the, out the door, you know, or the window. And so he was, he was interested to hear this story. So John told him that he's hoping that the parts won't come in for something because if the parts come in, then he has to go to like Indiana this week to either train people or for training, which wouldn't make sense if he's retiring next week, why would they train him to do anything? But who knows, companies do stupid things all the time. So anyways, John was hoping that the parts wouldn't come in so he doesn't have to go to Indiana and then he retires next week. So yay, John, we're happy, we're excited for him. Maybe him and Steve can go fishing together. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got our John update and um, Fred has not been back to finish my bathroom because he went on vacation to Florida. So I'm so happy for him. But when Fred gets back, he's going to finish my bathroom and then I'm going to really nail him on my new desk because I'm getting sick of this clutter. <laughs> like I need my new space finished. Um, so we're going to be talking to him about that. And what else? I wanted to ask you guys, where is, hang on, I've got things all over. Who got one of these in the mail over the weekend? What? Yeah. Um, new catalogs. I ordered one for myself. So I put myself on my own mailing list so I would know when the new catalogs are arriving at people's houses. And um, mine came either Friday or Saturday. So I'm in Wisconsin, you guys. So wherever you are, Rose said she got her. Yay! Wherever you are, your catalogs should be arriving. Donna got hers. Woohoo! Um, they're beautiful. And I think I had some type of a video or something last week where I mentioned that I hadn't even really looked at this yet. I know it's shocking, right? But busy, busy, busy. So I took it with me up north and I planned on looking at it all the way over to my mom's house, but I didn't because I don't know what I was doing. I was probably just vegging out, um, but I did look at it all the way home and I didn't get that far in it. Like, I don't think I got through the whole thing. Where's my, where's my wish list? Oh my good Lord. If I lost that thing, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I had a wish list. Let me see if it's in my bag. Um, yeah, so I wrote up a whole wish list with page numbers and all the things, and clearly, huh. oh, I know, it's probably in my new planner, not my old planner that I lost, because that's still clearly lost, but um, I was going to show you guys my wish list, and now I can't find it. Good Lord, Kelly, you need to get your head out of the whatever. Nope, I don't even see it. Sorry. I don't know what happened to my wish list, but it was here and I'll find it because it's close. But I got like this much of a wish list done. I was going to tell you guys what was on it, but huh, not anymore. 
Anyways, I had so much fun looking through the new catalog. Um, Cynthia's saying, do, so do I have to buy one or get as a demonstrator? If you are a demonstrator discount shopper on my team or on anybody's team, Stampin' Up! sends you a catalog. We all get one for free. So um, they're arriving right now, depending on where you're located. Ruth says she's in Michigan. She got hers last week. All right. Good for you. Um, I know that I think I don't know if they sent out to customers same time as demonstrators, but customers are getting them right now. So just know that. Let me scroll ahead here. Right. Dawn says demonstrators receive one automatically. Yes, they do. Super exciting. Thank you guys so much for helping Cynthia out there. And Connie says she loves my new planner. Yeah, my old planner was way better for me, but whatever, right? I have a lot of things. I was just writing out my list of things that need to be done this week, and they are all very time consuming. Holy man, like what was I? Sometimes my schedule just like just piles up on me like crazy. I know other people deal with that too, right? It's not just me. <laughs> Lynette says she's tabbed about every page. Ah, and Michelle Clark hasn't received hers yet. It's coming. Michigan two weeks ago. Wow. Uh, Barb got hers last Thursday. Uh, Joan got hers in Arkansas. Do, 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 do. Sherry's a demo in Pennsylvania still doesn't have hers. Yeah, so um, they kind of, and it also depends on your local post office. These are sent bulk mail. And if your local post office, I think the post office has, like they can hold bulk mail if they're super busy for a period of time and then they have to deliver it. So oh, you got that going on too. Um... Claudia says, Kelly, I was afraid you weren't on because I tried at seven and didn't find you. Well, I come on exactly at seven o'clock. So what you need to do, Claudia, and this is good for everybody to know, is like on my iPad or on my phone, if I'm looking for a live, I go to my business page or yeah, right. My a stamp above dash your creative coach. I go there and you just keep going like this with your screen and it'll bounce down and that updates it. And then you keep doing that until you see my live pop in. It's kind of like magic. <laughs> Hi, Deb. Welcome. And Sue, I see. And Debbie, all, all coming in here. Um, I wanted to let you guys know, strawberry bundles. Oh, I don't, I, am, I have two classes from Bingo sitting here waiting for strawberry bundles from last month, you guys. So I just wanted to let you know the strawberry bundles are supposed to be in this week. So if you've been waiting to order that strawberry punch, because it's it's been out, um, it should be coming in this week. And what I'll be doing is going into the online store and hitting the um, item code and seeing if it comes up. That's how I check to see if stuff is in. <laughs> I do it just like anybody else does. Um, customers. So... I'm just reading some of your comments here. Julie got hers last week. Minnesota received hers. Wendy got hers. So yeah, catalogs are starting to arrive all over the place. Um, Strawberry Bundle will be in this week. I wanted to let you guys know there's still time to sign up for bingo. I have April bingo on April 28th. It starts, oh, geez, Louise, I don't even remember if it's 6 or 7 p.m., but it's on my website. I was going to leave that up. Hang on. I'm going to pop open my laptop so I can see when bingo is. Bingo is 7 p.m. Central Time. The cost is $35. You get make and take packet for five cards. And you'll receive $15 to $20 worth of product also in your make and take um, packet. You also have the option to add on the Field of Flowers with the matching punch, the Nothing's Better Than Chocolate with the matching dies, and the Seaside View stamp set. One, the other, two, all of them, whatever you need or none. Um, bingo is $35, then these prices for these items are added on. And we will be making, I'll, sh I'll, I'll be demonstrating five cards. So I'll show you how to make five cards using these products. And we'll play four games of bingo in between. And we have big winners on bingo. So you have, I think, until noon on, yep, noon on Wednesday, April 21st to register for bingo. So 
Um, oh, you know, I think what I'll do is I will put a note, whoops, I'll put a note bingo. I'll put the bingo link on this Facebook page when I am done stamping for you guys tonight. So who just said that? Wendy is super excited for her second bingo. I know we had some really big winners. So what I decided to do is um, you're, you're paying for a card class is what you're doing. And then I choose to use my profit from that card class to give prizes. Okay. And um, I don't remember what it was last time. If it was the first bingo winner won $50 and the second one won $75 and the third one won $100 and the fourth one won $150 gift certificates. You get to order whatever you want. So what stamps are you using for bingo, Peggy? I am using these that I just showed you. Okay. The field of flowers with the punch, the nothing's better than with the dies and the seaside view. So you have the opportunity to add these on to your bingo registration. If you would like them, I will be sending out make and take packets after Wednesday and also those products will be in there if you choose to add them on. Kimberly wants to know if you can play even if you don't live near me. You can play any place in the United States. This is virtual bingo and what you do is you're going to choose five numbers between 1 and 25 and those are going to be your bingo numbers that you're going to play with. Kathleen says may I do your bingo if I do Dina's? Yes absolutely Kathleen you can do both. It's lots and lots of fun. I'm just looking to see if I've missed any comments. So yeah, um, Kimberly, this is virtual bingo. So you don't have to have a card or anything. You just pick five numbers between one and 25. So, okay, let me scroll that ahead now so I don't miss out on anything else. All right, I wanted to announce Wanda Critell from Maine won a three month premium membership to Stamp Happy Academy. has a, That has a value of $104. And everybody who ordered with me from March 16th through the 31st was entered to win the um, free membership. So congratulations to Wanda. Woo! She was super excited when I told her. So I was really excited for her. Noreen wants to know how long does bingo last? Um, usually an hour and a half to two hours we'll be playing so from 7 to 8 30 or 9 o'clock central time good question thank you um somebody else there are lots of people who have been asking me about this pain oil that i talked about steve using on his foot that was killing him and he couldn't hardly walk um my friend debbie has the oil and if you are interested in finding out more details about that i can um I think what I'll do is I'll post her email on my Facebook page right here when I'm done. And you can email her directly, okay? Because I had a lot of people that were interested in that. So this oil, whatever was wrong with Steve's foot, he could hardly walk. It was the arch of his foot just started killing him one day. And he put this oil on and within an hour there was no more pain and it never came back. So I don't know. But he also used it on his shoulders that were very sore from lifting weights and the pain went away too. So I'm, I just wanted to share that with you because I know sometimes we've bought um, CBD oils and stuff like that that are very, very expensive for pain control and they just didn't work. So, and I'm not saying they don't all work. So for some people, you know, some of them might work. Some, I don't know. But the ones that we bought, two different kinds at like $90 for these little tins, um, they didn't do nothing. So anyways, this stuff worked. And I like to share information like that. Who is ready for some giveaways? What do they do with them? Oh, I know. They're right here. Oh, I know. I wanted to share this with you guys first. I have some mail to share, so don't let me forget to do that. But look what came in the mail for me this week. Oh, my gosh. I have not opened it yet because I wanted to share it with you guys. You guys are the ones that are... Um, contribute to my getting a gift like this from Stampin' Up. I should say it's, well, this is, this part is a gift, but I earned the Stampin' Up incentive trip. And this is the Maui Elite trip that I'll be going on. 
and this came in the mail for me this week. And so I thought I would just share it with you because it's always so pretty and so nice. Look, here's our name lanyard. So we wear these and this helps identify us as incentive trip achievers so that other people who may not know who we are will know that, oh, I was stamping up and so is she. So um, especially when we're on the ship, we like to wear these because it's great advertising for our company, right? And it also helps people identify each other. So I've met the nicest people just because they had their lanyard on and I knew they were with Stampin' Up! too and I introduced myself. So we've got pink for me, petal pink actually, flirty flamingo petal pink. And we have, um, this looks like a little seaside spray mint macaron for Steve. Yeah! Oh, Jamie says her sister lives in, I don't know how you say, oh, in Kiel. Oh, I thought you were gonna say in Hawaii. Well, Kiel's nice too. Um, and then, what else did we get? We got, we almost always get luggage tags. Look at these. Maui. So we got these luggage tags. These are super nice. Look at, they're real heavy duty, thick. Everything we get from Stampin' Up! is very high quality. And then we have this little, um, it looks like um, cork. Very pretty. Little Stampin' Up! logo on it. And this is our itinerary for what we're going to be doing and all the dates and all the different things we need to know about our travel to Hawaii. And we're staying at the Grand Wahela, Wailea, I don't know, W-A-I-L-E-A, well, however you say that, I don't care, it's gonna be wonderful. <laughs> give a hoot how to pronounce it so yeah this is all our travel information and transfers and all that good stuff and then there's spots here to put your cards your identification you don't need a passport to go to Hawaii so <laughs> Kimberly said oh my gosh it would be an amazing to get a trip like this yeah it really is and can I just tell you that if you ever go on a Stampin' Up! incentive trip you will know what it's like to be spoiled and pampered because they do the coolest things for us. It's just amazing. Then look at these beauties. These are masks, which is kind of sad and makes me want to cry, but whatever, we're going to Hawaii. These are like kind of nylon-y, very, very soft. So they gave us, and they have the Stampin' Up! logo on them. We have two masks. I don't think Steve will wear this, so I get two. Um, he won't wear something this color. I don't think that's good for boys, right? So, not sure what they were thinking about that. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, lots of goodies from Stampin' Up! I love it when we get these packages because you know our trip is getting really, it's coming up soon. Um, I think we're leaving on the 15th of May or possibly the 14th. I don't even know. It seems like forever until we get to leave, but it's really not. I better get my eggs in a row, right? Um, what do you have to do to get the trip? Well, Vicki, that's a really good question. So there's a lot of different ways. Oops, let me shut this over here. There's a lot of different ways that you can get the trip. It's an incentive trip, so you have to earn it. And you earn it. It's a bra. <laughs> Who said that? Oh, I totally missed the it's a bra. Oh, why Leia? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, Minda, why Leia? Okay. Um, so if you earn the trip strictly through sales, you have to sell $40,000 worth of Stampin' Up! product. Oh, maybe it is a bikini top. Oh, that's a really great idea. I don't think these are going to fit though. <laughs> I don't know, my girls. Oh, maybe. Let's see. Oh, maybe I could, oh, look at that. I could tie that together. We could have ourselves a new bikini. Black will work on the bottom, right? What do you think? These are really pretty. <laughs> little little pineapples, that's what they are. <laughs> okay, thank you for that suggestion. I'll work on it. Um, so if you do it just through sales, you have to sell $40,000 worth. Um, if you recruit people, you get points for all of that also. And um, when they qualify, when they promote to the next title level, you get certain amounts of points that go towards your um, trip achievement 
whatever they call it. So you could, for example, have $20,000 in sales with, I don't know how many, but let's say five recruits that have um, qualified and that might earn you enough to get the trip. So it's all different, but just for sales, it's $40,000. $40,000 worth of sales. I'm gonna take this off so I don't lose it, right? Because you guys know that I can totally do that very easily. So lots of, um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Sharon Taylor just tuned in. She wants to know what's happening. Well, I just opened up my incentive trip goodie bag and I got some um, masks for our trip to Hawaii or um, a, a, a bikini that you have to assemble yourself. We're not quite sure what it was. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was masks, but somebody suggested it make a nice bikini. So there you go. That's what's happening here, Sharon. Hang on, I gotta turn off my computer so it quits beeping at you. We're giving away prizes tonight. And um, I happen to have a whole bunch of stamp sets that need a new home. So for commenting on my last Facebook Live, I drew names and Marsha Cullibert of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Woohoo! You are the winner of this Heal Your Heart and these beautiful gold glitter enamel dots. So these will be going out in the mail to you tomorrow. Yay, congratulations. Whew. How long do you have to accumulate that? You have one year. So the Stampin' Up! year goes from October 1st to September 30th, one full year to be able to do that. I think I achieved my first trip in my second full year with Stampin' Up. So, um, and I'm not gonna lie, you have to work your tail off to get sales like that, but it was totally worth it. Uh, Dina cannot wear that as a bikini. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll try. <laughs> Don't you worry. Um, next up for sharing my video, you guys have the opportunity to, Marsha, you're on here. Congratulations and you're welcome. You have the opportunity to click on that share button right now and share this video. And when you do that, it helps me grow my business and I really do appreciate it. Um, for sharing last time, we have Donna McClelland and I forgot to write down where you're from, Donna, but I do need your address. I do not have it. Donna's going to get the Berry Blessings stamp set along with these elegant faceted gems that are so pretty. I was just using them yesterday. Yes, and they are so much fun. So that's the next for sharing. And then last but not least, everybody who places an order with me since my last um, Facebook Live is going to get entered in a drawing. Amy Alberter, you are going to get this Punch Party stamp set. This is a fantastic little exclusive stamp set, as well as the Holiday Rhinestones to go with that. Woohoo! And I do have your address. So, Marsha, I have your address. I'll be sending this to Fond du Lac. I'm pretty sure you're back. And, Amy, I have your address, but I do not have a address for Donna McClelland. So, Make sure you get me your address, Donna, so that I can get these out to you. I'm going to set those over there. Whew, I'm kind of maybe having a hot flash. At least I don't have to have my fan on tonight to um, keep my phone cool so that it won't overheat, right? <laughs> new phone. For those of you tuning in late, I got a new phone. I know. It was, uh, it was time. Steve broke my other one for good. <laughs> I'm totally, I told him I was going to totally blame it all on him too when I was on here tonight. So Vicki, thank you so much. Vicki says, congratulations, Kelly. I know how, I know you work hard and it's showing. Thank you so much. Um, anybody who's achieving, achieving this trip is working very hard. So um, yeah, it's a thing we do. <laughs> okay. I have some really fun cards to share with you. And I've got a fun fold that I'm going to share. But I think before we do that, I ran across a card that I received from Peggy Williams. And I'm like, oh, I wanted to make that for a Facebook Live. So I created a couple different, well, 
yeah, a couple different options. And then I'll show you Peggy's card also. So I think I'm going to start with that tonight. We have Father's Day coming up next month, April, May. No, I'm sorry. It's in June. So it, this is really early for Father's Day, but I don't care. I want to share it with you because I'm pretty sure the best plaid builder die set is retiring. And this is such a great set for masculine cards. Um, I also brought out the Handsomely Suited stamp set. Now that is in our JJ Mini catalog and it has the suit and tie dies that go with it. Now there's been a ton of really cute stuff made with this set of dies and also this stamp set. So I'm gonna be using um, the sentiment sets out of here. But I just thought I'd let you know that it is available as a bundle. And then um, we are going to be using the Many Heart Dies. Oh, let me turn it around this way. Many Heart Dies. This is part of the JJ Mini catalog. And it goes along with lots of heart stamp sets. So it's a bundle. I'm going to be using this for a blog hop on Tuesday night. So watch my blog this week. I've got a blog hop. What else do I have going on this week? My boho class, I have to do all the cards for that and get the videos done because that is released on Friday. Um, I'm also going to be getting the Healing Hugs kit class together and cut and packaged. So that goes out in the mail. Um, What else? I have a blog hop and a that and a this. And oh, my list was so big. What did I do with that list? It's here. Oh, here it is right here. Yeah, lots of lots of things happening. Bingo. I have to get my bingo order in. Um, oh, and I have Stamp Happy Live tomorrow night. Ah, how can I forget that? I started working on those cards today too. So if you guys aren't familiar with Stamp Happy Live, it is a membership website that my friends Dina Barb and I have collaborated together to create. And Stamp Happy Live is part of the premium membership. Basic membership is $19.95. Premium membership is $34.95. Or you can get a Stamp Happy Live only membership for $20. And each month, Barb, Dina, and I each do a live class. And tomorrow is my date. And what we do is we take three different layouts or three different card types, and then we make at least three cards or show you at least three cards. Um for each layout. And it's just a lot, a lot of fun. What is the order number for the cactus stamp and die? Sandra wants to know. Um, are you talking about the medley, Sandra? Because that's in your catalog or you can go to the online store. You can type in cactus and it'll come right up for you. Let me know though, if you have trouble. I'm also going to be using the well-suited Oh, back to Stamp Happy Live. Um, I have that tomorrow night. So if you've never taken a look at our Stamp Happy Academy website, I highly encourage you to do that. When we get done with our live here tonight, it's going to be on my Facebook page. I've already scheduled it to post the link to it where you can go and take a look. And when you go look at all the different tabs that are available to you without having a membership, you're going to find a video that kind of shows you a little bit about what it's about, but it's a lot of fun. Four online classes are loaded on there every month. Four new online classes every month. That's included in your basic membership for $19.95. Plus you get the live if your membership is $34.95 or you can get the live only without the other memberships. That doesn't include anything else but the live for $20 a month. So go check that out because it's a lot of fun. And I am your person tomorrow night. So Okay, I think I'm ready to flip my camera around. I am going to, let's see, which one am I gonna make first? I'm gonna make this one first. So I'm gonna flip my camera around and we are going to get started on this card because that's what you're here for, right? Yeah, um, just shared the video, hoping to get some of my stamping friends to join. Oh, yay, thank you so much. Thank you, Courtney, I really appreciate it. Okay, hang tight, you guys. Somebody said they love my hair tonight. Um, actually, that's called Lazy Kelly hair, and I kind of like it too. <laughs> you 
it's hair that wasn't ironed is basically what it is. It's right out of the shower. I just put a little product in it and away we go. And sometimes my hair gets really fuzzy and I don't like that, but my hairdresser, my hairstylist, I guess hairdresser really dates me. My hairstylist told me what to put in it to make it so it's not fuzzy and it's working. Yay! Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Okay, what are you guys drinking tonight? Yeah, Lisa says she likes the wavy hair. Yeah, I know. Nobody ever knows that I really do have a lot of kind of wave curl in my hair. It's got a lot of body. I just iron it out <laughs> all the time. Okay, we are going to get started here. Now, these are man cards, and I know that a lot of people struggle to make masculine cards, and that's why I always love to show masculine ideas because I do not struggle with that. I actually really enjoy making man cards. See, I got all my lights on. Um, we're using the Well-Suited Designer Series paper, and that, of course, goes right along with the uh, suit and tie dyes, the handsomely suited um, stamp set. Also, I think these black, are these black dots part of that? Sweet, I don't remember, but these are in the mini catalog. And then we have the well-suited twin combo pack of Baker's Twine and Night of Navy and Basic Gray. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I see lots of people drinking water. Oh, I'm so sorry. I feel bad for you. I know some people like water, but for me, not so much. Sucks my life. It sucks the joy right out of my life. That's what I like to say. So I am going to be using, do I have the right, hang on a second. I need to make sure that I have the right envelope for, um, oh yeah, I think I do. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all, you guys, is I'm going to decorate my envelope because I always like to do that. And another thing that I'm doing here, as I was getting ready for Stamp Happy Live and also this live that I'm doing for you guys right now, I was really focusing on designer series paper. <laughs> Malibu rum and pineapple juice. Yay, Melody, you go girl. <laughs> um, we went out to eat tonight with, or I did, with Haley and Jared and Val. And we just went to Waverly Beach. They have a chicken thing every Sunday and the kids invited me. Haley actually messaged me this morning wanting to know if I wanted to make breakfast and they would come over. And my new phone didn't, her text message didn't come in on my new phone. It came in on my old phone. So about 1030 is when I realized she had messaged me and I never answered her. So that stunk. And then she asked me if I would like to go to um, an early dinner with them. So we did. So if I fall asleep halfway through tonight, you'll understand what's happening. <laughs> no, I won't fall asleep. Okay, so isn't that just striking? So anyways, as I was getting ready for Stamp Happy Live tomorrow night and also my live tonight, I really focused on designer series paper. I don't even know where I got those scissors from. They're from the other side of my little thing there. Um, I need to be using up this designer series paper, okay? And that's just how I feel about it. I've got a brand new catalog that's going to be available to me in less than a month. And I do not want to feel guilty about buying more designer series paper. So I am really using up the paper. And that makes me happy. I'm going to take this. This is just a basic white scrap. And I got my Memento ink here. Now this sentiment is from that um, suit and tie set. Handsomely suited. That's where this is coming from. It's got some great sentiments in here. I'm gonna stamp this right on my basic white layer. Close this up. And then we're gonna take this die. Hang on, I'm gonna show you where this comes from. So the Hippo and Friends dies has these little hippo dies in it and some butterflies and other things. But it's got all these nesting label dies, which I love. So we're gonna be using this one on one of the cards and the smallest one from here on another one of the cards that we're making here shortly. So I am going to take this and I'm going to pull this down so that I've got more room left on the bottom. I'm not centering the sentiment. I'm kind of
kind of pushing the sentiment up towards the top. We're going to run that through our die cutting machine. Okay, hang on. I'm just reading something on my screen. Facebook just messaged in here like they left a comment that says we're having technical problems. So when you add a guest to your live broadcast, your guests and viewers may see a slightly different part of your camera view than you do. Please update your app to fix this issue. Okay. Whew. I'm like, oh my gosh, what are they going to do to me? I got a new phone, you guys. Back off and leave me alone. <laughs> okay, so we're fine. So once we do that, you're going to end up with a sentiment layer that looks just like this. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do right away is we are going to embellish this little layer and then we're going to add some dimensionals to the back so that it is ready to rock. And I'm going to grab my take your pick tool. I'm going to go with these matte black dots and I'm going to put this right in the middle. I don't push it down until I have it right where I want it. And then this is one of the small ones. There we go, right on one side and another small one right on the other side. And I just think that this really does a lot for this layer. And it's also kind of not real girly, right? So, yeah. Hi, Bonnie Devo. I'm so happy to see you on here tonight. I hope you are doing well. Here comes dimensionals, and I'm going to add a dimensional to the top and a dimensional to the bottom. Now, we're going to set these right over here, and you guys are going to remind me where I put those when I can't locate them. <laughs> okay, Melody says, I start my DSP with the paper like I like the least, but it's still hard. I know it is hard, but you just got to do it. Just do it. Okay, let me put this die away so I don't lose it, okay? Because, ugh. The one thing I really like about these nesting dies is they're all, well, these two sets, this one and this one are both stitched. So you get that cool stitching around the outside, not only on the piece that cuts out, but also the piece that's left behind. So you could use either one of them. Okay, next step. We've got a big piece. I've got a half a sheet of uh, Pacific Point here. Let me get these out of the way. Half a sheet of Pacific Point. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring in the plaid builder die. Now I have a couple cards to share with you guys using these dies that I made from Blog Hop last week, just in case you missed them. Let me bring them in. I actually had three. This is my purple one. And this is the plaid builder dies in the background. And aren't those just spectacular? Yeah. And then I used the friendship, beautiful friendship is the stamp set that I used on my layer with a vellum scalloped layer there. And of course, I stamped up my envelope also to match. Whoops, let me get this out here. Isn't that just beautiful? So this is the plaid builder dies. And here's one that I, that was, um, sorry, that was Highland Heather with Gorgeous Grape. And then this one is Coastal Cabana with Pool Party and the same stamp set. And then I also had a yellow one with black as this little plaid, but I gave it to my mom for her birthday and she loved it. I gave her those kits that I made a while back and she couldn't stop raving over them. So I was very happy with that. So here's the plaid builder and that's using both of these dies, okay? I'm only gonna use this one tonight because I got this super cool card from someone and I will share that with you also but we're gonna recreate kind of what she made. Now, here comes my die cutting machine. So just hang tight here. I'm just gonna die cut this in the middle of this layer. You could be a little more skimpy about it with your cardstock, but I just found that I, I just didn't have the patience. Whoops. So I just used a half a sheet. You could probably get away with a quarter maybe. Okay. I know it's jiggling, hang with me, don't get sick. There's no throwing up and stamping. <laughs> All right, here comes. Here we go, so this is what you got left, right? And here is, hey 
see. Where did all my pieces go? Oh, <laughs> they're left behind. I was looking for these pieces, you guys. <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, I didn't use a big piece like that when I made my sample. All right, so what you have left here is this plaid grid. And this comes out really easy. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep these, okay? We're gonna hang on to those. Next up, where did my... I thought I had another piece here. Oh, I must not have. Oh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna take a piece of the paper and you're gonna do this with several different patterns of this well-suited designer series paper, okay? So you're gonna cut out several different patterns of this. Hang on, I'm gonna run this through. I don't have to be as careful if I don't have it right on my desk as I did when I had it on my desk, so hang tight. Cause I don't wanna wiggle it so bad that I get you guys sick. And it will snap, crackle, and pop like that. So don't be afraid of that, okay? Because it does snap, crackle, and pop. So what you're going to do is you're going to take several of these patterns and you're going to run this through. We're going to get this out of here. And you're just going to keep doing that until you feel like you have enough squares. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay. I've already made a bunch of these in the various patterns. So I'm just gonna bring those in. There was a whole bunch of die cutting going on here today. Oh, who said that? See, or Sherry said you could oh, use vellum to cut the plaid die. Oh, I think you probably could. Um, I just saw somebody say something about, oh, I can't find it now. Oh. Could trim the grid down for tic-tac-toe. Melanie, 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 you and I are right on the same wavelength tonight, so you just hang tight. I'll show you exactly what I did. All right, now I'm gonna grab my card base. This is four and a quarter by 11. I've scored it at five and a half. And I am going to bring this in here. This is my card front, and we're gonna take our liquid glue and you want to make sure that you get your glue nice and close around the outside edge. And we're putting glue all over. Isn't that cool? <laughs> glue everywhere. Now, I'm going to put this on my card. And what I'm looking at most of all is my left side. Because this is going to go all the way over to the left side. And then I'm watching to see that I've got the same amount coming off the top as I do the bottom. And then I took my take your pick tool so I don't get my fingers all gluey. And I just pushed it all down. Just like this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to like just almost like a puzzle. We're going to put the pieces back in. Only we're putting all different pieces back in. Hang on, I need some more glue here. And a little bit right here. I missed those two spots. So if you get glue all over your fingers like I just did... Please take the time to get yourself cleaned up because you don't want glue all over your fingers while you're doing this. It'll just be, it'll, it'll create a whole bunch of problems for you. Okay, so now what we're going to do, oh, I got this just a little bit crooked. Oh, it's still movable. All right, hang on, I'm going to wash my hands again, is we're going to take all of our little pieces and just start setting them back in place. So these go right back in here, just like a puzzle. And let's see, let's do one of these right here. Oops, this one looks a little too big. Do I have that the wrong? Oh, and it does matter which way you put them. Like that was a little too wide for that space. So just make sure you're moving them around a little bit so that they fit in there where they should. You want them to go in between all of these little, little lines. 
Oh, look at, see my, how my glue is drying here? Just going to get some more in here. There we go. I'm going to take one of these and put it right here. This is so much fun. And I can just see a gazillion different ideas with this, seriously. And I'm bringing back in some of my solid colors. Let's see. I have to make sure some of these aren't full squares because they were they were cut off the edges. So that's why I'm kind of picking and choosing. And if you get this die and you do this, you will totally get what I'm saying about that. And you're just going to go around and, whoops, that doesn't look like it's the right way. Hang on. There we go. That fits perfect. Oops. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm just going to keep going here. And we're going to do some plaid right there. And maybe some black and white stripe right here. So yeah, this was really fun for me today to just sit down and make this card because you have so many different options that you can do. Put these little pieces back in here now this is an inlaid technique is what it's this particular technique is called is an inlaid technique and i had a lot of fun with it let's see which other ones do we want to do here let's do one of these plaid ones Put it right down here and i thought this was especially good for a man card because you know the plaid and these are masculine colors and this is kind of a good idea. No, it wasn't kind of a good idea. It was a really good idea. Own it, right? Oops, I don't think that's the right way. Oh, I don't think that's the right way. Hang on. Oh, that one's a little bit too small, you guys. There we go. Okay, what else? Um, I'm going to do some of these. These little paisley type ones. These are cool. Go right there, down here at the bottom. Let's see if we can put another paisley right here. Yep. And then one of these stripey. Does this fit here? Yep. Sure does. One of these polka dotty ones right here. Yep. And then I have one more right here, and let's go with the polka dot again. Okay, so again, great way to use up your little scraps of designer series paper. Now what we have on the back is all this crazy, right? So let's grab our scissors and you're just going to use that edge from the back as a guide to trim this off. And that makes it super easy. You can stay going straight, not anything difficult. Turn right around here. And you're going to cut off those little, this little um, Pacific Point grid, I guess, the plaid grid. Cut those right off too. Oh, what do you guys think? Is that not really, really cool? I love this thing. Okay, now we have to decorate it, right? So here's what I wanted to do. Let's see. I have got, ooh, I had a little piece. And I don't see it now. So hang on, I'm gonna have to grab my paper because I think I actually lost it. Let's grab this. And I thought I would go with, let's go with one of these pieces. I'm going to cut this down just a little bit. I did have a piece like this with my layer, but I can't find it. Oh wait, maybe it's over here. Nope. Nope, it's gone. It disappeared, doesn't matter. Um, this is the bottom, so we're gonna go with four inches. And then this is needs to be a little bit smaller. I'm gonna say three quarters. So four by three quarters. 
And we'll take this piece and I'm gonna grab a white. Oh, here was my white. And we're gonna add this to the bottom. Just like this so we have a good inside. Vicki says she got her catalog yesterday. Yay, you're so welcome, Vicki. I'm so happy that it came. For those of you that are still waiting for catalogs, cross your fingers, they'll be coming soon. I promise, promise, promise. And there's a certain date that if your catalog doesn't arrive, we can call Stampin' Up! and have them send you a new one because the post office has not been really very friendly lately. And I understand that they're having, you know, their own problems with, if you think about it, one person comes into work with COVID and your whole entire area of people that are sorting mail gets put on quarantine. That causes a lot of problems. Look at how cool that is. Do you guys love it? Okay, next step. We are going to take our baker's twine and I am going to grab my gray. There's lots of basic gray in here. So I thought this was perfect. And I am going to, what I want to do is I want to wrap this around here and tie it in a knot. Now this is a, this is a card for a man, so I don't want bows on it, but I want to do this three times. So I just figured out how much do I need? And now I'm going to weave this back and forth so that I will have three pieces. I'm going to cut this and then cut that. And then we're going to come down here and cut this. So you want three pieces the same size or length, I should say. And then I'm going to take this and we're going to tie it around here. Now, I'm going to bring this in just for a little dry fit. I want my knot to be about right here. So, bring this in here. Yeah, that's about right. About right here. So here we go. Here's our knot. I've got all three of my pieces of twine. And I like leaving the tails just a little bit longer. And now we're ready to put on our sentiment. We're going to center that right over here. <gasps> what do you guys think? Is that, isn't that super cute? Like it's super cute. I love this. Really cool idea. So I wanted to show you the card that I got the idea from. If I can find it here. I know it's here somewhere because I just had it a minute ago. Hang on. Oh, I know. I set my paper on top of it. Let's move that. <gasps> Look at how pretty this is. So this is our fall plaid colors, right? Yeah. Very cool. This is from Peggy Williams. And this is where I got the idea for the card. So you can do this with any type, floral paper, any type of paper. But I'll tell you, this best plaid builder, very, very cool. We've got very girly looking. We've got masculine. This was a really cool idea. Okay. Now, somebody suggested that what we had left over here, hang on a second, let me get this cleaned up a little bit. Get this all out of here. There we go, I just flung that right on the floor. Not the rest of it though. I'm gonna keep these because I'll use them again. Okay, so after I got done doing all my scrappy doodles with that die, I have all of this left, right? You've got all of these left. And somebody said, wow, that would make a great tic-tac-toe grid. And that's exactly what I thought too. So, peach cobbler, I want peach cobbler. It does look like a quilt, Bernice. I completely agree with you. Um, What I did is I took one of my papers here and I cut out this part right here. So hang tight. I'm going to get out my next card. Here comes all my little layers from my next card. 
But before we do that, we're going to do our envelope right away. So let's get that done because this is quick and easy. And I've got, this is two and a half by six inches. That's what size I cut my designer series paper. And again, I am using up this paper. Don't be chintzy with your designer paper. You know what helps me get away from feeling like I have to be really skimpy with it is to buy two packs. And that way you're gonna use the paper instead of keeping that one pack on a shelf and not using it because you're afraid that that one project will come along that you're gonna need both those same pattern, you know, the two sheets of pattern, that's gonna come along and, and, and then you're not gonna have any paper left, right? That's what I used to do. So now I just buy two packs and I use more paper than ever. So here's our envelope. Next, what we're gonna do is we are going to, let me see if I can get this out of here. I'm gonna take that, where did all my little, Bits and pieces, hang on, here they are. Okay, we're gonna take a scrap of white and now we're gonna make a Father's Day card. Way ahead of the game because Father's Day isn't till June. And this is just a white scrap. We're gonna stamp that on here. I'm using Black Memento ink. This is Have a Happy Father's Day, handsome. Who isn't gonna love to see that, right? And then we're gonna take the die. Again, this is from those Hippo and Friends dies. It is the smallest one from right here. Makes a great label die. Gonna put some temporary tape on it. We're gonna die cut that. We are also going to pull out the hearts. Did you wonder what the hearts were for with all these man cards? Well, this is what the hearts are for. We're gonna take this polka dotty heart like I said, I'll be using this whole bundle with the stamp set um, for Blog Hop on the 20th, which is Tuesday night. Okay, so we're also going to take this and I'm gonna get a little bit bigger white scrap, this basic white scrap, and we're going to die cut this. So when you do this, you can die cut both of these at once, but I do recommend that you use some type of washi tape or something to hold them together so they don't overlap each other once they get in the machine because you'll ruin your dies if they do that but you can definitely go with both at one time and when you do that you're going to end up with this and this okay now back to our little grid thing go oh i know i also forgot also in this die set is some little heart um uh, X's and O's or X's and hearts and so I just ran them through this is my card base four and a quarter by eleven already scored it at five and a half I ran this die through and this is what you have left on the front of my card so that's what I did with this so hang on let me get this put away so I don't lose my die where did I go with those heart dice here they are don't want to lose these little buggers and here's my other heart die. Okay, put my tape back. So this is my card front. We're gonna fold that and burnish that edge good. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. This is four by five and a quarter. That's the inside of my card. So I've just got a little three quarter inch scrap here, three quarters by four. And I am going to add this right to the inside over on this far right side of this white layer, okay? Now, this doesn't look too, you know, it doesn't really pop, but once you get this white layer on the inside, holy cow, it's gonna pop. So now we're gonna put this in here. Are you ready? Isn't that cool? I love this, okay? And again, this is the many hearts dies that goes with the lots of heart stamp set. Okay, now back to our little grid. So we've got all of these left over from all our scraps that we needed to do our inlay technique. Here is the part of this leftover piece that I just cut out of here. So what I've got now is a tic-tac-toe grid, right? So I think I'm gonna put this on an angle here and I just need to 
get a little bit of glue on these outside pieces. Not too much, you don't want it squishing all over the place, so be very sparing with it. This would be a great place to use those as adhesive sheets, which I forgot, so I would recommend that. I'm just getting a little bit of glue on each little end here, and then we're gonna put this on. So here comes our tic-tac-toe grid. Where'd my dimensionals go? Right here. Here's my dimensionals. I'm gonna take some dimensionals and put them on the back of my heart. And I'm gonna do two just to keep it good and supported. And I'm gonna put that right in my middle tic-tac-toe square. Then I'm gonna add some more dimensionals to my sentiment layer. And I think we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it right down here. And then I wanted to bring in some of our twine. I was trying to think what I wanted to do with that. And I'm thinking, hmm, I don't know. I'm thinking, let me think a little bit. I'm gonna grab out one of my bow jigs here. And let's see. I'm gonna do this just several times. See what happens here. So this is, I just wrap this around here several times. Sometimes I do a triple bow, but this is definitely a little bit more than that. And we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not, you guys. I don't wanna put a bow on a guy card. Okay, so I'm cutting the ends here. Maybe this will look okay. Maybe this right here. I just don't think so. I don't like it. Okay, so we're gonna leave the, the baker's twine off of there, but we are gonna put on some of these dots. How about that? I think these are gonna look pretty neat. These are a little embellishment that's going to finish up our great card. Hi, Charlene, welcome. I'm glad you made it. Oh, thank you, Debbie, for telling Kimberly that this is a Stampin' Pierce mat. Yes. Okay, what do you guys think? Isn't that cool? So instead of throwing all these scraps away, we can definitely make some cards like this. Now, my card is now Happy Father's Day. Could definitely do a happy birthday. Um, this would even be a great get well card. You know, it's got the heart and the hugs and kisses. I don't know. Yeah, Kimberly or Wendy says, nope, no bow. Yeah, I don't think so either. I don't want a bow on my man cards. But I was kind of thinking something along these lines. This does kind of look like a little mustache, maybe, of a walrus. <laughs> so I think I'll just, I'll leave it off. <laughs> it doesn't go. So we've got this card. We've got this card, both of these awesome, awesome man cards, and it all came from here, okay? And then last week, I made this one and this one and a yellow and black one that was really, whoops, let me see if I make sure I keep these in the screen, really, really cool that I gave to my mom for her birthday. Now, I'm pretty sure, like I said, the best builder the best plaid builder dies are retiring, I'm pretty sure. Oh, here's the other one. You get this one and this one, and it does all of these cool little things. Yeah, they're really neat looking. So I just wanted to make sure you guys know about these because they're kind of unique and not something that we have ever had before. Okay, hang tight. We are going to clean up this little mess. I'm going to put all of these away. Um, ta -da! And all of these away. And I'll fix this all later so it's not such a jumbled up mess. Okay, here we go. All right, 
I told you guys I had chicken for dinner. What'd you guys have? Oh, Cindy says the creativity is really flowing, Kelly. Mm. Thank you so much, Cindy. Some days are easier than others. You know, it's just, it is. It is what it is. Some days are just easier than others. And I think the more cards I make, the easier the flow goes, which is really nice, too. Like, I was stamping pretty much most of the day until I went to dinner with Jared and Haley and baby Val. They're having some fun with her. <laughs> and I say that facetiously. She's getting, um, Haley keeps telling me that she's not that nice at home. <laughs> she's always on her best behavior when she's with her granny. But at home, she's being kind of a little tyrant. And I said, ah, yes, the terrible twos at one. <laughs> her birthday party, oh, that reminds me, you guys, her birthday party is next weekend. And depending on how that goes, I do not know if I will be live on Sunday night because I'm not going to leave her party early. So I think her party is in the early afternoon. And depending on how late it goes, I may not be on. But I will make it up to you. And I'll just have to keep you posted. I'm hoping I'll be able to be on Sunday night. So that's why I don't want to like postpone or change it if I don't have to. Okay. Fine art floral. Like I said, you guys, I want to use up this designer series paper. So I know that the, um, let me see, what are we calling these? Uh, where's, I got, oh, here's my little cheat sheet. We've got vertical and horizontal easel cards right now. I'm just looking at comments. Okay, so. I chose to use the stitched nested label dies for my sentiment layers. And then I brought in the Happy Thought stamp set. This is retiring, floating and fluttering. I think, you guys know, I think this is retiring too. <gasps> Barbecued chicken and homemade macaroni salad. Oh, Joanne, that sounds fantastic. Goodness, goodness. Denise, thank you. She says, Miss Val, come first. Yeah, it's her one year old birthday. Plus, my mom is coming to town, and she's going to stay overnight, so I'll have a whole thing going on here. So, like I said, it might be all done and settled down by the time I would be live, and that would be great, or not. I'm not saying it should end soon, but we'll see. Um, I am going to do this card first. We are going to use a bumblebee base. Oh, look at that. It's all ready there. Hang on. I hate it when that happens. We don't want any ratty. There we go. That's nice now. And then our designer series paper. So like I said, I am using, yeah, Vicki said, stay with baby Val. You can't get that time back. Bless your heart. That almost brings tears to my eyes because you are absolutely right. We need to keep things close to our heart that you know, like family time that are really, really important. And that's one of them. So, you know, thank you, Vicki. That's sweet. This is the paper that I chose. And again, I am using up this paper because I do not want to feel guilty about bringing in more. I've got a five and a half by eight and a half inch layer here. This is Bumblebee. It took me a little while to warm up to this color, but I'm really liking it. And I think it helps that it's in so many of our different patterns right now this piece right here was four by five and three eighths and you just cut it at two so we cut it directly in half two by five and three eighths this piece we fold it in half and if you want to you can score it to do this but I'm just going to take it and tuck it in here and fold it in half again so when you tuck it like this my friend Barb taught me this. It gets it perfectly even one more time. So we're going to do that. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Then I've got a couple scraps of white here. And I've got, whew, hang on, I'm having a little hot flash. Nothing even went wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I really could do, Marsha, I could do a Facebook Live Monday night. Maybe that's what I will do, too. That's a really good idea. That way I won't have to feel 
antsy about anything, right? I can just totally relax. That's what I'm going to do, you guys. I'll do Facebook Live Monday night, 7 p.m. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Hang on. I'll have to check and see if that is time for Stamp Happy Live because if it is, that's not going to work. So hang tight. I'm going to look here just a second because I can look at it right now. And Stamp Happy Academy. Whoo, hot. Take a drink. Have a little mental break. Stamp Happy Live April dates. We are on, let's see, Dina is on Friday and Barb's on Tuesday. Okay, we're good for Monday, the 26th, 7 p.m. Central Time. Thank you so much, you guys, for understanding. All right, we're going to take this piece, okay? This is four by five and three eighths. No, 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 four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Just a little bit bigger. And we're going to take this piece. Now, what we're going to do here is we're gonna glue these on right away. And this is, again, kind of like a puzzle piece, right? Because we took this and cut it down the middle, so I'm gonna put it back on the front of my card so that it lines up. And that may or may not matter to you, but I just think it kind of looks neat. Oh, I do not like this, hang on. Because I had to cut that sliver off of here, it's not gonna work. So let me get a different piece. It made it too short. And here we go. Whew. All right, I was just fanning myself, you guys. I'm so hot. Ah. Fold it in half, and then we're gonna fold it in half again. So I'm just gonna tuck this in here. Or you could score it. You're gonna score it at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. I'm just gonna do that. Okay, Whew. then we're gonna try this again. This is our little two inch piece. Now I have to make sure that I'm putting this on the right way if I wanna stay with that kind of putting the puzzle back together thing. So we've got a really thin little margin here. <gasps> I just think this blue with this bumblebee is stunning. What do you guys think? Is Dina live on Monday for her regular? Yeah, but she's way earlier in the afternoon. Late afternoon. So that won't, that's never a problem. I come on at night after people are done eating supper. And yeah, we try to keep that all pretty even. So we're not overlapping anybody. I'm on at 7 p.m. Central Time. I think Dina's on at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Kimberly, what time zone are you in? So she might be on 5 to 7. We'll find out. Don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. Okay, I'll let you guys know. All right, so this piece, I'm again going to use the Designer Series paper as a layer on the inside. So here we go. Yeah, I always thought Dina came on at 4 p.m. Central Time, but I could be wrong. Okay, here we go. So far, this is our card. Now, with this scrap, I am going to take the butterflies from the Floating and Fluttering, and I'm going to stamp those in black. Oh, Dina's on at five, so she probably will still be on at seven. Maybe I'll go at 7.30. I'll let you guys know. We'll get it figured out. Here we go. Oh, so pretty. I love these. Now, one of the cool things about this stamp set is we've got all of these filler stamps, which are really fun. So I chose to use Bumblebee, and we've got this solid butterfly here. And here we go with the solid butterfly. Here's the little butterfly. We're gonna do that in Bumblebee also. And then we've got this Habsy butterfly over here that we're gonna do in Bumblebee. And now I've got 
some Mossy Meadow. Did I stamp my words already? No, I don't think I did. Okay. Then we've got some Mossy Meadow, and that's for the leafy things. And we've got three of those. I gotta get this inked up. It's very light. And this little one, which is really cool. Ha! Wendy says I've converted her to using glue. Woohoo! Okay. There we go. Okay. Now the cool thing about the floating and fluttering is these dies and these are called fluttering dies. And this will cut out this whole thing. Okay. So you're going to add a little bit of temporary tape to this. You're going to take it to your machine and you're going to cut it out. When you do that, it's gonna be like this, which I think is super cool. So you could use this on your layers and it'll all stay together like this. Or you could take some scissors and you can just snip it a little bit. And this is really easy to cut these little pieces apart because they're just connected a little bit. So here comes our leaves. We got these little leaves. And I always like to make sure that I'm trimming up these edges a little bit so they don't look, you know, like something's been hacked off of them. We don't want that. That's not attractive. And like that. Because we're going to use these all individually. So here's our butterfly. I see that I need to kind of smooth this out a little bit. Does that look nice? Oh, a little bit more here. A little bit more there. Okay, so that looks good. Then we have these and we're going to cut this apart. Here's our big butterfly. That looks pretty darn good. I'm going to just take those little notches off of there from where we cut the leaf off. And then we have, oh, we're not, we're not actually going to use that leaf. We're going to use this one. So that's fine. Butterfly. And we've got one little piece here that we're going to trim up just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Woo! Look at those. Cool, right? Okay, then we're going to stamp our words. This is from the Happy Thoughts. I just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way. Now, you could do Get Well. Um, you could do happy birthday, whatever you want, or just a general all occasion card. That'll work for that too. Whatever you need. But this is the sentiment that I chose to put on mine. I'm going to take one of the nested labels and I'm going to die cut this. Then I'm going to take the next biggest one and I'm going to die cut some bumblebee to layer behind it. And when I do that, I've got this and this. Okay. Um, I'm just reading comments here, trying to see what's happening. I wish I could see all of them all the time, but I can't because sometimes they scroll past a little too fast. I'm always trying to catch them. Okay, now we're going to take... Hang on a second. Let me see what I'm doing here. We're going to take one of these. These are opal rounds. And one of the things that I love about this is you can color these with your Stampin' Blend markers. And I'm just going to color this one with the Dark Mango Melody. And that matches up great with the Bumblebee. Because we don't actually have a Bumblebee marker but we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it right there. And isn't that just a nice little embellishment? It gives a little bit of bling. Love, love, love it. Okay, we are ready to assemble our card. We're gonna take another scrap of Bumblebee and you're gonna punch out two one and a half inch circle punches. Now, any size around there is gonna be fine. And we're going to fold these in half. When you're folding something like this in half, 
you're gonna get some resistance. One way is gonna fold real easy, the other way it doesn't even wanna bend. That's because paper has a grain. That's why we can fold our cardstock like this way, but we can't fold it if it's a tall card like this one. We have to score it because the paper doesn't wanna fold this way, okay? It, it does want to fold this way. Does that make sense? You always have to score your tall cards, but you don't have to score your cards that are just this way because of the grain of the paper. So I just wanted you to know that. Look for the grain of your paper when you're folding your circles in half. And again, this was one and a half inches. You could make it, it could be a two inch, it could be a square, it could be whatever you need it to be. What we're going to do with this is we're going to take it and we're gonna put glue on half of our circle. And again, this is a, a vertical easel card. It's a little different. I think these are really, really cool. I'm gonna put this in the middle up against my fold line, okay? So it's in the middle of my card up against the fold line. And now I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. And you could make sure they're butting up together. And honestly, it doesn't matter. We're gonna put this on top of here. So now I'm gonna put glue right here. I'm gonna put this right here. I'm just centering this right in the front of my card. Okay, I'll show you what this all does in just a second. I am going to grab some Mini dimensionals. Hang on, let me get these put away. Here they are. Here comes all the dimensionals. I'm going to grab some mini dimensionals and I'm going to put one right on here. And I'm going to take this little leaf that's all die cut that I cut apart and I'm going to put it right down here. I'm going to take my butterfly and put it right here. So I'm going to add a couple mini dimensionals to this side of the butterfly only. So it just goes like that. Okay. Now we're going to open this up. And I think what I'm going to do... I think I'm going to add this one right here. So, doo -doo -doo, where's my big dimensionals? Right here. I'm going to put a big dimensional right on this guy. It's our sidewaysy butterfly. This is going to be our easel right here. Okay. Now, here's your card. Here is your easel part of your card. It goes like this. This is very unique. This tilts back and forth. Can you see what's going on under there? Tilts back and forth like a sign that sticks out. So it's not connected to this part where it would look kind of goofy, right? It centers itself right like that. What do you guys think of that? My friend Barb, made a bunch of these and it was part of her Stamp Happy Live and I actually had these scheduled to do for Stamp Happy Live but I found out she already did it last month. So if you guys join Stamp Happy Live you'll find a bunch more ideas with this vertical easel card which I think is so so cool right? Okay now I have one more card to share with you. What time is it? Um, oh, it's already 8.30. Holy cow. <gasps> what do you guys think? 8.30. I have kept you long enough, but where's my envelope? That's what I want to know. I don't know why I don't have an envelope for this. I should have. Let me look. I can show you some other cards. How about we do that? I'm going to show you some other cards made just a little bit different. So, this is the vertical easel card, okay? And it stands up just like that. It's pretty neat looking. This is a horizontal easel card, and it stands up just like this. And again, this goes back and forth, right? Pretty cool. Now, this one uses the same 
paper, the fine art floral, and then I used Rich Razzleberry from my card base. And this is um, Blushing Bride for my butterflies. I used mm, Rich Razzleberry for my uh, opal, my opal round. And again, same color, the Mossy Meadow, same stamp set. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Very neat. Okay, and let's see. Here is my matching envelope. I, I don't know where my envelope went for this one, but I certainly did have one. I don't know what I, what happened to it, but whatever. Um, and then for this one, here's a different one. This one, again, envelope. I used this butterfly, which is part of the um, blah, 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 fluttering dies. We have one butterfly in here that is embossed. I did this in Pool Party. My card base is Poppy Parade. And um, my oval I covered, colored with Pool Party marker. Here's the inside, and here is that vertical easel card again, right? Ha! I have to make sure that I make a matching envelope for this. I'm not sure what happened here, but I don't have an envelope in here either. I suddenly lose my mind. <laughs> okay, so there we go. These are all our fabulous cards for tonight. I had one more that I was going to show you. Maybe I'll save it for next week, you guys. It's, it's pretty cool too. I mean, it's the same, same style as these, but it's getting late enough and I still need to show you my mail. So here comes our man cards using the best plaid dies. Remember you guys, if you would like to place an order with me, I always appreciate your orders. It's what keeps these free videos coming. This is my current host code. They move the host code. So when you go into your online account to place an order, instead of the host code being down under the pay and submit your order thing. It's right up at the top of that same column. I don't know why they do things like that to us. It's probably just to keep us on our toes. But here we go. I love these cards. I hope you guys enjoyed this class. It was really fun to come up with. Hi, Judy, thank you so much. Hi, Patty. I'm sorry, I kind of lost my train of thought there. So these are our cards for tonight. I am going to bring in my mail. I just have a few pieces of mail to share with you. One of them is a super cool card that we'll probably be making next week too. Okay, hang tight. We've got Luba. Luba from Rochester, New York sent in this beautiful card. I loved this die. This is one of our retired dies and I absolutely loved it. But how pretty is that? And it says, may your special day be surrounded... Oh, this is for my mom. Look at that. I'm like, what? This is for my mom. I'm going to make sure my mom gets this. But um, it's a birthday card for my mom. How sweet are you? She's coming next weekend. And she will just think you are the best. <laughs> Thank you, Luba. And then Luba sent this for Val. I knew this was Val's birthday card. But check this out, you guys. Look at how cute this envelope is. Right? And then look at how pretty that is. And then watch this. It's a shaker. Oh my gosh, Luba. It says happy first birthday. Val sending you hugs and kisses. Luba, you are so sweet. Just absolutely adorable. Love it, love it. I'll make sure Val gets this. She's got a couple other cards that I'm saving for her too. So I'll put this over with those. Oh, here's another one for Val. Look at how pretty this is. This is from Tracy Baysmore. Look at that. So, so cool. I love this. Look at that. It's your day. Happy birthday, Val. You are one special little girl who is loved by many. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> she has no idea how many people are looking out for this kid, right? Okay, Brenda's asking me a question. When sending cards to those who do not make cards, how do they know to tuck the side to make an easel card? That's a really good question, Brenda. So they don't actually know that, but most people can figure out, huh, what's this? Oh, look at that, huh? 
And even if they don't, this is still a spectacular card, so I wouldn't even worry about it. But another thing that you could do is you could put a little note and say, tuck this under that butterfly on the inside to make it stand up like an easel. You can tell them that on a, um, on a post-it note or something. Yeah. Hi, Catherine Pape. I'm so glad to see you here. Oh, Luba's on tonight. I will give Val a big hug. So, um, Jackie, you are scheduled to get a catalog. Jackie's asking, will you get a catalog if you place an order for $50? You are scheduled to get a catalog from me. So be watching for that. Um, oh, Val tonight. So I was telling you guys about um, Val as being kind of a little monster. <laughs> and it's got Haley a little concerned. On the one hand, she says she's glad that ain't nobody going to be... Um, tromping on this little girl because she is very strong-willed but she said she just she gets so angry with her mom and her dad when they like when she doesn't get her way she gets really mad at them and Haley's like not really sure how to handle it and I'm like well you just gotta kind of ignore it and walk away because she's looking for your attention and if you don't give it to her perhaps the behavior will stop right Okay, um, how about a post-it under the holder? Yeah, that's a great idea. I would definitely put a post-it note holder in there. Here comes another one. Now, this is the one that we'll probably be making next week because it is, it is so super cool. Are you guys ready for this? Ah, yeah, how fun is that? Now, this is from Mary Stroman, and she said, how fun to hear my name drawn for a prize on your live. So Mary won recently. Thanks for all you do. You are simply amazing. Um, uh, thanks, Mary. <laughs> um, I haven't seen you make this fun fold, so I included the instructions if you're interested. Have a blessed day. And she sent me the instructions to make this. So we're going to make this next week. I'm so excited because, again, on my quest to use up the paper, woohoo! we're going to get her done. So thank you guys all so much for the absolutely beautiful cards. I'm going to put these two over for Val and my mom so they make sure they get them. And if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. I am always here for you. Um, I want to let you know I'm a little backed up on emails right now because I was gone visiting my mom for a birthday for a couple days. But just give me a couple days and I'll get everything caught up. If you have signed up for any of my classes and you're waiting for an invoice, I did do a lot of invoicing on Friday. Um, but I will get back to anybody who hasn't in, been invoiced probably tomorrow morning, I'm thinking. So just watch for that. Thank you guys. Sue, you are so welcome. Um, Sue says, thank you for another fun evening. It is always my pleasure. I appreciate you guys so much. This, I wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching me and all the comments and the shares. Please make sure you share that video. If you want to be a little bit more a part of all of this, you can join my team, whether you join as a business builder or a discount shopper. You have so much fun. We have a lot of fun. Lots of swapping, card challenges. We have mystery stamping at our team meetings. We have a team meeting every month that's completely virtual, done over Zoom. So no matter where you live, you can always attend. I see Judith on here. Judith, thank you so much. I always appreciate your comments, Judith. They make me smile. You guys have yourselves a wonderful week. Watch for my blog hop on Tuesday night. I've got a blog hop coming out. And um, if you ordered the online classes for the Boho Indigo, that's still available to order. But that um, PDF file will be going out on Friday the 23rd. I'm also planning to get the Healing Hugs kit classes out of here. And next week is bingo. Don't forget to sign up by Wednesday at noon for bingo if you'd like to play that. There'll be a link posting on this Facebook group page when I get done here. So it'll make it just a little bit easier for you to go check out all those online classes, register for anything that you'd like. Go check out Stamp Happy Academy, you guys. Four online classes every month for your $19.95 membership price. It is an amazing deal. Okay, have a great week. Kudos to all of you. Bye-bye.